thank you all for coming and welcome to Your Voice 2022 Washington Township Redistricting Forum. I mean Warren, I'm sorry. Warren Township Redistricting Forum. Your Voice 2022 is an information and engagement campaign to bring awareness to the Indianapolis Marion County redistricting process. The goal of Your Voice is to hear from Indianapolis residents about their priorities for mapping future city county council districts. This is the early stages of the process and your voice here really matters. In these forums, we hope to engage communities to greater understand the communities of interest within each district to assist in mapping um, the mapping process. I hope you have taken the opportunity to view the information depicted in the space on the easels. Um, this information is depicting the current district makeup. Additionally, I hope you've engaged with the activity um, and have provided us with information to better understand your community here in Warren Township. On your seats, we have provided some input guidance, laying out some things you could share with us about your community in the case you are needing help thinking of what you would like to share. Additionally, I would like to acknowledge the council members here today. If you could just raise your hand. I can see them in the back. <laughs> awesome, thank you for coming. We do, know, we do now have a video that I will share with you to talk a little bit more about Your Voice 2022 and the redistricting process. Thank you for coming. Hello, I'm Macy Moore. In this video, I'll introduce you to Your Voice 2022, an information and engagement campaign to bring awareness to the Indianapolis Marion County redistricting process for 2022. The goal of Your Voice campaign is to hear from Indianapolis residents like you about your wants, needs, and vision for mapping future city county council districts. So you may be asking, what is redistricting and why does it matter? Redistricting is the process by which census data is used to redraw the lines and boundaries of electoral districts within the state. This process affects districts at all levels of government, from local school boards and city county councils to state legislatures and United States House of Representatives. The way that district lines are drawn puts voters together in groups. Through elections, these groups decide who will represent them at local, state, and national levels. The way a district lines are drawn is important. Ultimately, it can change who controls a governing body, change what policies get passed into law, and how resources are allocated. So how is city government in Indianapolis structured? Just as the United States government has the president and Congress, Indianapolis has a mayor who serves as the chief executive and council that serves as a legislative branch. All other Indiana counties have county councils and each city has its own local council. Indianapolis is unique in Indiana and in fact in much of the country because since 1969, the city and the county have been unified in many respects. We call it UniGov. There is a single legislative body for the city and county called the City County Council. The county continues to have several other officials who are separately elected, such as the prosecutor, clerk, recorder, assessor, and the treasurer. The Indianapolis City County Council initially had 29 members, 25 who were elected from geographic districts and four who were elected at large from across the county. The law changed a few years ago and now we have 25 counselors who are each elected from separate geographic districts. How are council districts set and do they change over time? The U.S. government conducts a census every 10 years. Once the numbers are in, a process is set in motion to review geographic districts from Congress to the state legislature to local councils around the state. State law requires those districts to be reviewed to account for the new population information. The census dictates how many seats in Congress each state will get, which is why states gain or lose seats in Congress every 10 years. State legislative leaders then work to ensure the state's congressional districts all have roughly the same number of residents to ensure equal representation. They also do the same for the districts of Indiana General Assembly, both the House and Senate. This process is called redistricting. Redistricting should accurately reflect population changes and meet statutory and other legal requirements. 
This process is used by lawmakers to equitably allocate representation in Congress, state, legislatures, and county and municipal councils. Each state has its own process in drawing district maps. By statute, the City County Council must redistrict Marion County Council districts before the end of the second year after a federal decennial census. This means the City County Council must review the districts and make any changes in 2022. State statute requires the City County Council to pass an ordinance that divides Marion County into 25 districts that, one, are compact, subject only to natural boundary lines, such as railroads, major highways, rivers, creeks, parks, and major industrial complexes. Two, contain as nearly as possible equal population, and three, do not cross precinct boundary lines. Precincts are the smallest geographic units in legislative districting. Several precincts are grouped together to make up a council district. The precinct boundaries must also be reviewed. The county executive, in the case of Marion County, the mayor, is charged with the task of re-precincting in conjunction with the new census. This is underway and must be completed before council redistricting can begin. How will the City County Council determine the new district boundaries? The current City County Council leadership team has decided to solicit broad public input on the council redistricting process. Accordingly, all City County Council members and all residents of Marion County have the opportunity to provide input into the redistricting process. Engaging Solutions is a local consulting firm that will facilitate public engagement in the redistricting process, so all communities of interest will have an opportunity to be heard. A community of interest is a group of people from a particular geographic area who have similar social and economic interests. For example, some residents may want to share how important a community center is and why it would be valuable to have its service area and the community it serves be inside one or two districts instead of being split up among many districts. How would the public have an opportunity to provide input in the redistricting process? There will be nine public forums where Marion County residents can have a voice in the redistricting process. Participants will be encouraged to share their perspective on the greatest strengths of their local community along with their thoughts about what makes their neighborhoods unique and what their hopes are for its future. Each form, location, date, and time is listed on the Your Voice 2022 website. If you cannot participate in a public forum, you are encouraged to provide your comments in the designated space on the website. In March 2022, after all forms are complete, a report will be published on the public input process. Maps will be introduced to the City County Council for review and consideration in the spring of 2022. And a final redistricting ordinance will be submitted to the City County Council for a vote at the conclusion of the redistricting process. Please plan to participate in a forum. This is an opportunity for your voice to be heard in the Marion County redistricting process. We look forward to seeing you at one of the forums. As we move into the public uh, comment portion of this meeting, we would like to remind the public of a few ground rules. In order for everyone to have a fair chance to speak and be heard, it's important that we observe the following rules. First, each speaker will be limited to two minutes. Second, any public comment must reasonably relate to the topic of redistricting. Third, speakers who stray from the subject under consideration or become repetitive they may be asked to move on to their next point or conclude their comments. Finally, attendees who are disruptions that prevent tonight's meeting from proceeding in a reasonably efficient manner will be removed. Please remember that some types of threatening speech or incitement to violence are protected under the First Amendment. We will deal with those issues if they come up, but we do not think that they will. We may now proceed to the public comments. Um, in your chairs, you do have some guidance cards. Um, if you guys are needing help to think about what you would like to discuss, um, some of the topics we have laid out that we would like your perspective on is what makes your community unique, 
some of your advocacy concerns, um, and what makes your neighborhood strong. All right, we now open the floor. Would anyone like to go first? Thank you for this opportunity. Uh, my name is Charles Miller. I'm a member of the Irvington Community Council. Um, I am speaking on behalf of this council and reading from a letter that this council sent to um, City Council President Ossoli, and I'll provide you a copy of this at the end of my remarks. Um, we did not know the forum that these meetings would take place in, so we, we wrote this letter in advance of this, um, and I'll alter it to reflect that this is actually speaking as opposed to letter writing. I write on behalf of the Irvington Community Council, recognized by the city as the official community organization of Irvington to discuss redistricting. Our council shares many concerns when it comes to redistricting and gerrymandering on the state and federal level, but we were also concerned about the city council redistricting you will soon oversee. As you can imagine, we have heard our fair share of rumors regarding the future of Irvington's representation on the city county council. Specifically, we are concerned with the rumor that Irvington will be placed in multiple districts. We don't wish to give rumors merit, but we do write to you now with a simple desire that you keep Irvington as it is, unbroken in one city council district. Irvington is currently in District 12. In addition to Irvington, District 12 contains the neighborhoods of Bozart Brown, Christian Park, Community Heights, Emerson Heights, Inglewood, Grace Tuxedo Park, Little Flower, Otterbein, Sherman Park, and Twin Air. It is a district uniting many Eastside neighborhoods who share common goals and concerns. Our council has worked with our fellow neighborhoods and elected officials to further those goals. Our level of civic engagement is high. In addition to keeping Irvington in one district, we would like as many of those neighborhoods to remain with us in the new district as we continue to uplift the East Side. Thank you. Would anyone else like to speak? The floor is open. Again, if you're looking for some guidance for talking points in your seats, um, there is a card. Um, some of the things we are looking for people to share is what makes your community unique. Um, share some of your advocacy concerns um, and what makes your neighborhood strong. Again, we do have the floor open for comments. All right, going once. Twice. All righty. Well, thank you for participating in the Your Voice 2022 Warren Township Redistrict. I have a question. Will, we have, will the public have the opportunity to view and weigh in on the maps once they are gone? So, um, with this form, it was intended to be just receiving information, but I will go ahead and answer your question. Um, we are looking at other engagement opportunities into the future. Um, this forum in particular was just to gather information about communities of interest um, and special considerations the public would like to be taken into consideration during the map making process. However, there is conversation about having future engagement processes, whatever that looks like for the public to give comment. Go ahead, Hope. We'll do another round of, are you guys sure? Would anyone like to come up and speak? Going once, twice. Okay, we'll move on to concluding. So again, um, our next meeting will be held in Center Township, Tuesday, February 8th, so tomorrow from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. at Crispus Attics High School. Um, similar to this meeting, we will have additional language services and we'll offer translation of Tuesday's meeting into Spanish. 
For those of you who are unaware, thanks to Luna Translation, the option for tonight's meeting to be translation, translated into Haitian Creole and Spanish was available, so thank you guys for coming out tonight. Again, I want to thank you guys for participating in tonight's forum. If you for any reason did not provide public comment and or think of another point you would like to make, please head over to our website, yourvoice2022.com. I mean, provide additional comment in the comment box available at the bottom of the website. Again, thank you for coming out. And if you did not get to engage with the activity, um, we encourage you to do so. Oh. I have a question. Yes, ma'am. Uh, well, first of all, I'd like to uh, uh, echo Ergington's comments just because it is a very historical site. They've maintained it over a long period of time and I would hate to see it divided into several different um, areas any more than uh, some of the historic areas in, many, in Indianapolis. Um, I wonder about the, um, the, the census um, mm -hmm. that, is, that was taken to um, guide some of the uh, distribution, I should say, of, of what exactly will be representative. And uh, in our area, I, we live in Woodsong, right off of Midhofer and Warren Township. Mm -hmm. And we've had um, uh, several, several of our areas are commercial areas. And we have retail areas, a very large retail area. And we now have 254 homes being built in, on, in our, uh, on our street south of us, as well as on another street over, we'll have another 120 homes, plus some of the new areas that are going to be developed very close by. We have several large warehouses. Um, we have a huge retail section that is um, Washington Square, which is kaput. So the census, determines mm -hmm. the number of city council, city county council members that will be representative of the county, right? The city? Yes. Um, the new development that is just taking place now, mm -hmm. will that also include the new development as far as the number of homes that are being built, the number of people going to be in the area? No, because the census was taken last year, so I do not think they will, they will not be represented in that new number. They will be in another 10 years when this process happens again. But they won't take any of the other data into account, like the new homes that are being built on certain, in certain areas? I cannot answer that question. I will. people? Uh, I cannot answer that question. I will bring that back to the team and see if we can get an answer for you if you provide us with your email address. As many people as are moving in mm -hmm. and, and lifestyles changing, um, I think that might be kind of important mm -hmm. to prepare for the future. I'd agree. Was there any more comments before we officially, would anybody like to give another comment or second comment or first comment? Guys all good? Again, if you do have any questions or comments, um, you can go to the website and leave a comment on the page, or you can send an email to yourvoice2022 at engagingsolutions.com. So if you have any questions pertaining to the process as is today, or anything about the forms or the public engagement process, you can send that to that email address. Again, that is yourvoice2022 at engagingsolutions.net. I mean, we will get an answer for you, rather that is for getting to the person you need to speak with. How many people have attended these meetings so far? Um, that will be released in the document. I cannot say off the top of my head. You don't have that information? Not up here at the podium, I do not. All righty. Well, thank you guys for coming out tonight. Again, please visit the website. Thank you.